Good morning, gamers. Today is finally the day that I get to go experience what I came out to New Mexico to do, uh, and that is camp in the Carson National Forest. Um, I have a campsite reserved for the next four nights. I've uh, got my tent, got everything packed up. Um, it's gonna be awesome. I probably won't have cell service, but I, I, I don't know. I'm pretty near to a town called Red River. I'm looking forward to it. This is what this journey has been culminating into. Um, I know it's all about the journey, not the destination, but I'm pretty excited for the destination. So next time you see me, I will be probably in the forest. But also before I go, um, just kind of wrapping up some stuff I did in Albuquerque. I stayed here two nights, so I got to experience a lot of fun stuff. Uh, walked around Old Town a lot. I walked to the Rio Grande. That's really amazing. Uh, it's so cool that the river just kind of goes through the city and you really don't feel like you're in the middle of the city. Uh, went downtown briefly, um, when walked around the University of New Mexico, had some really good Greek food, uh, had the falafel pita over at Euros. Um, I got lost for literally like an hour in the city trying to find a uh, sportsman's warehouse because I needed a sleeping bag. Um, <laughs> So I saw pretty much the entire city. I've been trying to navigate no, uh, like I'll just look at my GPS like in the morning um, and just kind of memorize where I'm supposed to go. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing that, but I did it. Eventually I found my way to Sportsman's Warehouse. And let me say, it was a Sportsman's Paradise. Anyways, yeah, that was just kind of wrapping up some other stuff I did here in Albuquerque. Um, this is my favorite city ever. I love it here. That might come as a surprise to some people. Um, especially if, I don't know, if you're local when you're watching this, but uh, I love Albuquerque. I didn't do anything Breaking Bad related, um, which is kind of sad, but it is what it is. I kind of ran out of time. Two days is not enough.
Well, I made it to my campground, set up the tent. It's a really nice place. I decided to be closer to people just in case I uh, was a bear or something. Um, I hope I set up the tent well enough. It's pretty solid. I think it'll be okay, but we're supposed to get some storms tomorrow, so I'll probably be spending a good amount of time in the tent. My tent already has a visitor. Yeah. Oh. Uh, You've seen the breakfast of champions. Now it's the dinner of champions. Some Amy's black bean vegan soup. And <laughs> Mad Dog 2020. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Morning gamers, um, <laughs> that did not go as expected, uh, I'm already leaving, I'm gonna go back and pack up, I just went to town and <laughs> called my mom, um, because, uh, the vibes at camp are bad. At 8.30 last night, there were, like, this group of, like, five, I don't know, they were, like, 20-somethings, like, they're just a couple years younger than me, and... I, they they found a chipmunk like in like the you know how they make their homes in like the knots of trees and they had a big knife and they were stabbing him and like laughing it was it was really bizarre it was kind of surreal and then I went to bed and then got up this morning and uh, was about to go walk to the little like vault bathroom outhouse thing there uh, and I came to find out that my flip flops and my knife were stolen literally from right outside my tent so. I'm not sticking around somewhere with insane people and people stealing my shit, so I'm heading home. Alright, back on the road. Um, honestly, oh, the horses! The Red River is kind of hers. It's not what I expected.
Hamilton, Kansas. Um, this is the place where earthquakes are totally normal and natural and absolutely not a result of fracking. Don't let anybody tell you. There's like, there's a fault line here, it's obvious. Several things that you're gonna find really difficult to 